Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big-time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of Bantamweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. The man's poise is something that cannot be denied. This is a fighter that knows he's ready to do what is in front of him, and he has what it takes to accomplish the goal. The Beast's ring walk, he just exudes confidence, carrying himself like a champion. Touch gloves. Opening three minutes of this scheduled 12 rounder. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Good way to protect the midsection. The beast jab has to be first and foremost on his to-do list, isn't it, Teddy? Yeah, I would say so. You ever see that commercial where the guy says, how do you spell relief? Sure. It, well, it's kind of like, how do you spell victory in this fight? J-A-B. That's exactly the way you go. That's what he wants. <laughs> Parries that punch away. Keep working the body. is on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Good uppercut by the man. Halfway through this round here. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. <laughs> Dismisses his opponent's headshot. <laughs> Scores well to the head with the right hand. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. And we come to the end of round number one. The Beast, his corner's got to be thrilled with what they just saw. They won that last round. They put down a beatdown on their opponent. And now they got to be thinking, hey, this thing could really snowball in our favor big time when we get off the stool here. Yeah, they have to feel that way. Keep it going. Why change it now? You know, what you did the last round, it worked for you. It got you into a commanding position. Keep doing it. Keep doing more of it. But remember your defensive responsibilities as you go forward. Here we go. Round two is underway. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the man. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by the beast from the east. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Come on, come on, come on. 
The man's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. The Beast is crushed by a huge uppercut. Come on, and now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. The man's on the wrong end of a razor-sharp hook. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Keep moving, keep moving. That's it, that's one. Able to land with the right. The Beast is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. You see him holding on. The man's inability to hit the target is really making him look silly right now. He's throwing plenty of punches, just none of them are landing. No, he's throwing them too wide, too far away, and what's going to be worse, right now he's only getting frustrated, maybe embarrassed as you touched on, but what's going to be worse is when he starts getting counted in between them. You're not giving me enough punches, okay? Throw more punches. Damn, damn, damn. Look, damn, damn. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. There you go. Listen, you're not working. You're not working on anything we worked on. You're not ducking your jab. Not... And round number three is underway. Keep doing what you're doing. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by the Beast from the East. Showing you some defense there with the block. He's tired. You know, boxing is a global sport. I think sometimes in North America, we lose touch of that. A strafing attack by the man. The Beast's got speed and plenty of it. Teddy, still, I'd like to see him just bite down and fight a little more. Yeah, you'd like to see him sit down a little bit, bend his legs a little bit, and make those punches a little more effective, not just great where they look good. Keep moving, keep moving. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. And he's holding. The man's got to be feeling the sting of that Come big, on. powerful hook. The beast, his punch, is far off the target. remaining in this round. And that's the end of round three. I'm not gonna stand here. Now watch you take those shots, you understand me? Let's see some deep. You're fighting this fight. You're fighting on the inside with this guy. I want you to use the ring and keep your distance. Carry it away, you catch him. You got that? He's gonna have it. Well, it's early on, but already a commanding lead. Banking rounds away on Teddy's scorecard, up three rounds to zip. Blocks that blow, and then a counter uppercut. He's tired. He 
He just missed that shot up top. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Good defensive skill. Really frustrating his opponent now. The Beast so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Right to the body. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Oh, he is down. Now, can he beat the count? One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. And the round comes to an end. The Beast's in control now. Scores a knockdown in the last round. Teddy, you think he's going to go after it here when this next round starts? Well, I'll tell you, Joe, he should. I think he should because that's what the networks are looking for. They're looking to bring back guys that are exciting. There's no better way to ensure that they're going to bring you back than scoring a knockout. He has an opportunity. Yeah, opportunity to advance his career. Relax, relax. How quickly can he recover? That's one of the questions that'll be answered early on in this round after being knocked down in that last round. Well, what he has to do is go out there and be defensive-minded. I think get a little time early on. Don't worry about winning or pressing the first part of the round. Just get himself together, then start picking it up after that. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities Opportunities, not on the front end, but on the back end. Could this be the start of a big comeback? He went from owning this fight to now nearly down and out. You know, that's what makes boxing so great. Yeah, you can come back just like that. One punch at the right time. That was at the right time. Miss that uppercut. Yeah. Halfway into round number five here. And he ties up on the inside. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on, keep moving. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the man. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. Six. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down. Now he's got to survive. No, that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare. It's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy. If you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. The Beast's corner is like a congratulatory receiving line right now. They're just thrilled with what went down in that last round as he scored the knockdown.
I don't want you to slug it out with this guy, all right? Keep your range. Jab, jab, right, okay? Good. Nice work. Listen, I want you to go downstairs. Get upstairs, okay? As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course, you have that great call. Do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. The beast has been stunned. The man's gaining momentum on his side. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Well, his opponent got away from that uppercut. He's tired. Halfway through round six. Scored well up top. like the great pitcher, great Maddox, his sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get out the gate. Nine. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. He's tired. The beast's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a shame. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Sound defense. Good block that time by the Beast from the East. Big, big shot he just scored with. That was a big shot that Florida, and it's a big shot that may end it right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. And that, the ref is stopping this fight. The Beast is bombs away, worked again. Knockout victory for him. what you want to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight and that's what his trainer wanted his trainer was even telling him step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore thanks for being with us ringside